Good morning. Um, it snowed last night. We got about four inches of snow. I'm not the biggest fan of snow, but it is absolutely magnificent when you stop and look at what God can do with a few drops of water. Well, more than a few drops of water. Right, Bailey, what you thinking? Do you like the snow? It is beautiful. Kitty cat's having some breakfast. The rooster wanting some breakfast. Certainly takes away from the muddiness. I did take my greenhouse stuff out last night that I was worried about with the temperatures dropping. And I'm going to leave the snow on top of the greenhouse today. Because it's getting so cold tonight, that snow should add just a little bit extra layer of insta insulation um, to what we have in here, other than a mess. Winter Wonderland. We'll also check and see if the geese laid any more eggs yet to bring in before the temperatures plummet. I never find that a camera does the pond a whole lot of beauty. It just looks magnificent in person. Plus you get the uh, smells of nature, the sounds of nature that you can't pick up on this microphone. Temperature's floating around freezing right now. If I was about 30 years younger, I'd be having a ball out in the snow. But as it is, I'm just enjoying looking at it. Not much going on in the high tunnel. We'll run in there and I'll show you what I do have growing. This is the new high tunnel. I don't think I've taken you all in here yet. Oof, it's kind of dark with the snow on. Shut the door. Last fall before I put up the high tunnel, I came through and I seeded the area with cereal rye. And it has continued to grow through the winter. And then as things get planted in here, we'll just kind of mow it down, use it as mulch. And as it grows, the roots are helping to break up the soil. Also got plenty of mulch around. Fun space, can't wait to get it filled to the barn. After the last few days, I got bruises on my shin and even bruises on my hand from collecting the eggs yesterday. Yep, they're setting on the nest. I think I'll give them some more time, wait till later in the day. See if any of the other girls decide to lay an egg. We'll go back into the woods and see what tracks we find. Other than Bailey's tracks. Bailey's my livestock guardian dog. She's been around for quite a while. She's half Anatolian Shepherd and half Pyrenees. A great mix, super smart dog. My second favorite dog on the farm. Ooh, boy, is it beautiful. Winter Wonderland. If I was any good with photography, I could make some nice Christmas cards. But hey, it should be about this pretty for Valentine's. You make a nice Valentine's card. We'll go back and check the groundhog hole. We're coming up on the back side of the pond if you see the water down there. It's 
Sounds like Levi's following. A groundhog hole, or a groundhog hole, has been here for decades. My property sits on a lot of sand and gravel. So none of it's flat. Well, looks like a pretty good sized deer just came through here. Oh wait, that's not deer. What is it? Yeah. No. I almost say rabbit. Yeah, that's rabbit. Moving pretty fast too. There's somebody's little tracks. Doesn't look like anybody's come and gone from the hole in a bit. Looks like maybe last night they came in. We got a lot of snow overnight. Levi, you wanna go for a walk? You're more faithful than Bailey when it comes to sticking with me. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, going downhill there, it heads down to the, the wetland, which in white, you can't tell. Everything's white. There's one of my favorite trees on the farm up here. It's an old oak tree. Shaped by the wind over the years. Setting at the top of a ridge. That branch there, when I did more hunting, when I would need to gut my deer before I hauled it up to the house, I would hang it from that branch and uh, take care of the dirty business out here before I bring it up to the house to hang and get ready to butcher. You can come out to the woods, especially in the spring, every couple days and the changes just amazing how quick things change. There's an old sycamore. And it sits right beside the gravel pit that my grandpa used to get stone out of and gravel out of to make most of the things he made from concrete, including the blocks of my house for the foundation. I still use it. It's a little more grown up now. Probably all looks the same down here on this camera. Yeah, you can see it's kind of carved out of the hill. We'll come back later in the spring when the wildflowers are out and about. But, now we'll just enjoy what's here. Thank you, Lord. Okay, I'm going in. It's my hands getting cold. It's a damp cold. It's not super cold, but okay. Happy February 13th. Well, Levi, get your butt out of my face. Levi loves attention, as you can see. Levi loves attention. He follows me through the woods. Figure I might as well give him a ride back up to the house. Don't want him grabbed by the coyotes or anybody. Right, Levi? Too pretty of a day to be coyote food. We've also got fox out here. Ooh, yeah, an unsteady foot.
What you think, Levi? You like our walks? I do too.